Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome to another data slate video for you. This time we're going to be doing the Storm Wolf, which is the companion flyer for the Storm Fang. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. Now the fluff. The Storm Wolf is the Space Wolves' foremost assault craft, enabling the Space Wolves to bring the fight to the enemy wherever they may be found. Combining breathtaking speed with the freedom of altitude, the Storm Wolf can swiftly close on its prey before setting loose its deadly cargo right in amidst the enemy lines, and bears sufficient firepower to ensure that their landing is uncontested. The wolf's head silhouette of the storm wolf strikes fear into the hearts of any who face the sons of Russ, for their presence signals the imminent arrival of some of the deadliest warriors in the Imperium. Such foreboding is not without good cause, for the Stormwolf is the favored transport of packs of battle-hungry bloodclaws who are renowned for not holding back once committed to battle. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this little beastie does, shall we? Let's see. It has a ballistic skill of four. Front armor 12, side armor 12, rear armor 12, and three hull points. It is a flyer hover transport. Um, its unit composition is one, and its war gear consists of, ooh, let's see, twin linked Hellfrost cannon, twin linked Laz cannon, two twin linked heavy bolters and ceramite plating. It has the following special rules. Assault vehicle and power of the machine spirit. It has the capability, and this is the insane part, to transport 16 models. You heard that right. 16 models. So that would also mean 8 terminators. Basically, it's able to carry just about anything you ever could imagine. Uh, what else? It has no fire points, and the access points, oh, nice, of the Storm Wolf has one access point, and it's at the front of the hull, not the rear. Front of the hull. If you have the model, just look at the big door at the, at the front. It's a beast. So let's see. It comes with some options. You may replace the twin linked heavy bolters with one of the following a Sky Hammer missile launcher or two twin linked multi meltas. Uh, the Hellfrost cannon, if you're not aware of that, it has a range of 24 inches and comes in two fire modes dispersed and focused. In the Dispersed Fire Mode, it has a Strength of 6 and an AP of 3. And it has a, it's a Heavy 1 Hellfrost Blast. Focused Fire Mode has a Strength of 8, AP 1, and a Heavy 1 Hellfrost. But it is not a Lance, which I find interesting. So what is Hellfrost, some of you might ask? When a model suffers one or more unsaved wounds from this weapon, it must pass a separate strength test for each wound suffered or be instantly killed. Yes, that means you can basically wipe out monstrous creatures with a single shot. Or at least if, if, they, if, if they roll really poorly. Monstrous creatures tend to have nice strength. But let's say it doesn't, then boom, it's gone. A Skyhammer missile has a range of 60, uh, strength 7, AP 4, and is a heavy 3 shot. So what do you do with this thing, other, other than transporting possibly 16 blood claws right into the middle of battle, or 8 Terminators? 
Uh, well, the first thing to note about the Storm Wolf is its huge troop capacity, as I was saying, of 16, enabling you to cram a lot of space wolves inside. A personal choice would be a uh, 15 unit strong of uh, blood claws led by a wolf priest. Transported into the heart of battle, the number of tacks that can be churned out is likely to prove overwhelming. Basically, you can drop these guys anywhere. You don't have to worry too much about the storm wolf being shot out of the sky because when 16 blood claws or and 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 a wolf priest is dropped on the ground they're not going to be shooting the transport and this is very important because if you give this thing two multi melters it's still going to go around and blow the shit out of things all by itself especially in zoom mode so don't worry about the range you can close under the half range get the double armor penetration to blow up you know the the um i don't know wraith knight or or perhaps an obelisk or a a great cleaver of corn with the uh with the with the you know what i mean don't worry about it it can still blow things up it's also really good at knocking things off of an objective or off of a fortification and then dropping a unit down on it Say you've got like a Skyport fortification or something like that. It zooms in and knocks off things on top, and then you drop 16 Blood Claws on top of that to take it over. Who knows? It's very good at clearing objectives before dropping an ass load of figures on top of it. Now remember, because your Storm Wolf will always come in from reserve, you will need to make sure that it delivers its payload as soon as it arrives. It has a range of 36 inches, so make the most of that movement to get into position. Its armor should protect it from most weapons, and it can jink to avoid leaving it visible to high-strength guns. But as I said before, most people are going to be shooting at what you drop on the ground, then they will be worrying about the transport, so use that to your advantage. Let's see. Um, one lucky shot is all it takes to make Space Wolf Puree out of the Storm Wolf and its cargo. In the next turn, drop the Storm Wolf into hover mode and unleash the unit inside. Unit deployed, I'd use the Storm Wolf to harass enemy vehicles, making using it to speed and maneuverability to get their weak rear armor. For this, I definitely upgrade the Space heavy bolters to multi-metal multi-meltas with power of the machine spirit you can potentially take out two heavily armored vehicles a turn that's how i would use it try it out tell me what you think until next time bye